Hey folks, how y'all doing today? JP here. I've had people ask me, well, how do you attract bees to new equipment? I'm going to go over some things that I do to attract bees to new equipment. Show you a few little tricks to help you attract a swarm maybe to your equipment so you don't have to go out there and maybe buy some bees. Alright, hope y'all enjoy the video. Lemongrass oil mimics orientating pheromone or nasanoff, one of the pheromones that honeybees emit when they are trying to reorient to a spot. So when you shake a swarm, for example, what the bees normally do is they'll spread out and they'll run up the sides of your box that you shook them in and they'll put their little tail ends up. The nasanoff gland is right before the tip. It's like a little tan area. They're fanning, they're emitting that nasin off. You can really smell it. It's got like that citrus smell. And lemongrass oil kind of mimics that nasin off scent. So by encapsulating lemongrass oil in beeswax or propolis, what these products are doing is attracting scout bees that would be looking for a place to bring the swarm cluster to. When bees swarm, they usually would go cluster and rest on a spot like a tree branch or something like that for anywhere from one to three days on average. And if you look at that cluster of bees, you will see some bees coming and going. Those are the scouts. And those scouts could be checking out, you know, half a dozen different spots in the area. And if you have your bait hives out, they come across them, they could be attracted to them and go into your equipment. Maybe there's an area that has a bee tree. That would be a, a great location to put a swarm trap. Or a building that's got bees in it uh, for s some reason. Uh, maybe the building cannot be opened up. Maybe it's a, like a concrete building or maybe it's a, a concrete wall or you know anything that has bees in it that maybe they can't be removed. But you'd like to catch some of the genetics from those colonies. Put your swarm traps out in these areas. And uh, you know the more traps the better. I would tell you to start maybe with one maybe within 50 feet of where the, the colony is located. Maybe the next one about 50 yards from where the colony is and another one maybe 75 to 100 yards out. Just because you're baiting hives and you're putting them out there does not mean that you're going to catch a swarm but it increases your chances of, of getting them if you spread them out and bait them appropriately. Alright folks, well there you have it. I hope these tips prove helpful for you. This winter time, get your wooden wear together and about a week and a half, two weeks before your swarm season begins, put those swarm traps out and go get you some. 
Until the next video. Hope you're having a fantastic day, because you know I am. Another one from JP the B-Man. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care and have a great day.